Yay! Hooray! Woo! We're here. We're here. We've got minis. <laughs> sure do. Check it out. Where are we at? Snowbound, Wiz Kids, Icons of the Realm, unpainted or no, pre-painted, pre-painted minis. Can I? Can somebody in the chat let me know how our music is? This is our third time doing it. I think I think we're good, but I want to double check. Thank you again. Nice honor. Daily, you did a great job. You deserve it. Yes, congratulations on our mini of the month. Yeah, excellent. If you all haven't seen it, check out last Sunday's video. Check us out on Patreon and Discord. It's everywhere. It's great stuff. Hey, Kelly. How are you doing, Kelly? Hi, Kelly. Um. Okay, so yeah, Eric and Julie. Fry Minis, we've got an unboxing. This new set, breaking news just came out. Uh, we actually were able to order from Amazon a little bit earlier than I think we were supposed to. I don't know the details, but Here we've it got it. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if it would actually work. Uh, so we only have one brick today. Normally I like to do two bricks for a set, but we've got one. And I've got an affiliate link in the description. So if you want to check it out on Amazon, you can go right there and order it. And we'll get a like 60 cents back. <laughs> wow. That's almost a third of a mini. Yeah. So, so we got one brick. We've got one brick, which is eight boxes. And how many minis are in each box? Quattro. Quattro. So there, that means four. And, <laughs> and so that's that's going to be one large or larger. And there are huge minis in this set. Uh, so one larger, larger, and then three medium or smallers. So it's not always like one large and three mediums. It can be uh, some variables in there. Kristen, hey, hi. A uh, long time no see. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. I'm good to so see you. So glad you're here. Yeah, the channel's doing pretty good. We've got a great community. Yeah. Including you. Obviously. Founding member. Hello. Yeah, and we're getting more active with the live streams, and I had a lot of fun with them. Yeah, same. And I like doing them with Julie more than by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and we've got a, we've got a hidden bander hob. Yeah, we've actually got two. <laughs> I love them so much. I'm gonna need some picture of everything that's not on miniesgallery.com decimation. Yeah. So, okay, before we'll jump in, we won't take, uh, take up too much time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the unboxing. So this is opening the minis and we'll, we'll use the overhead camera and we'll take a look at them. But this Sunday will be my actual review video. So that's where I'll have the up close, like like spinny stuff and all that and give the, the reviews and ratings. This is just opening up and initial look. Yeah. I think that's gonna be fun. And if you want to take Maybe. screenshots and throw them on Minnie's Gallery, go for it. They might not be the best quality quite yet, but they as should, of they Sunday, be, they'll be they, great. Yeah, they should be well, pretty Well, I good. have a hard time getting things in focus. That's what I meant. Oh, <laughs> manual focus. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. So this is going to be loud, crinkly. So you two sound so happy. Thank you. Oh yeah, gosh, thank we you. Are. We are happy. <laughs> and we both, I had a not super great work day. So <laughs> I had a pretty good work day. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm this is this is Christmas for me today. All right. <laughs> So here's the the brick. It's all sealed up. I'm guessing everything you pull will be cobalt and trench coats. That, that is an option. Michael, thank you, Michael. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if you all want cool pictures next to your name here on YouTube, uh, become a member. Two ninety nine a month, and you get the little icon, and it evolves the longer you're a member. And there's a special spot on our Discord. You can join us on Discord and talk, and obviously Patreon. Blah blah blah. Uh, okay, so we're gonna open this under the table. So it's not as loud. Yeah. I don't like the sound of plastic, so I'm just going to sing a single note. <laughs> all right, all right. We're okay. going to... I wouldn't do that again. Uh, so you could. our first box is going to be opened by Julie. Here, uh, let, me, ooh, let me... Let me... I'm going to switch this over. Here we go. Okay. So we've got our top-down camera. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, move it back a little bit. Getting everything squared up here, ish, kind of. Okay, quick, quick look. Is that okay? Quick yeah. look at the box. Okay, Snowbound. It's uh, kind of like Rhyme of the Frost Maiden 2.0, uh, which is cool because that was a great set. Uh, Warforge Titan, uh, Galvin, Mag Magen, Megan. It's a, it's a wizard. You can have a beautiful it's a siren song. Oh, thank you, TV. Yeah, because you'll crash your boat if you hear it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Um, th there's a spell. These are like spell created people. What? I'm just delighted by DB uh, as always. <laughs> she's great. Uh, it's like a living mage hand, kind of. Oh. Uh, skeletal Sentinel. This is this is actually in the book. Oh. Uh, in Frostmaiden. 
Uh, Noel Fang of Inogu. I like the puppy doll. Yeah. Ruh, 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 ruh. Uh, a white dragon wormling. I don't like its face. We have 46 miniatures. Uh, now this one, this is one I'm most excited for, I think, maybe. Snow Golem. He's shaped like Gritty. Yeah, <laughs> Gritty. <laughs> <laughs> An awakened tree, which just looks like a tree, but okay. Sure. And Goblin Battle Wagon, pulled by polar bears. I like the icicle detail on that. That's nice. Yeah. Now, in the past, when we would do uh, unboxings, I would always save the heaviest for last because that's mm. going to be like the cool big one. But this time, we're just we're just pulling from the top. So first one might be the best. Last one might be the best. We don't know. Uh, all right. You good? I'm good. All right. I have weaponry. I'm going to just cut open the sides of the box. Let's see what's inside. We're gonna do our best with the with the microphone noises. Sorry. Not put. <laughs> All right. I don't give a heck. Yeah, well, let's try that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh, big oh. one. Oh. I'm always afraid. Well, don't pull it by the top. That's a good way. <laughs> I'm always afraid as I do the I worst was, possible option. I was <laughs> squeezing here while pushing from the bottom. We can do a playback on it. Uh, we will. Everybody, our, we keep our videos up so you can watch video on demand. You can repeat this. <laughs> to watch all of the times that Eric gently corrects me. And I appreciate that. What is going on with this mic? Whatever. Okay. That should be good. So here's this thing. Um, I think this is the thing from the, the box. Too, yeah. A Warforged Titan. I haven't seen anything quite like this before, although it reminds me of a lot of the robotic stuff that I've seen in adventure games. Like, um, was it in Elder Scrolls? Oh yeah, Elder Scrolls. Yeah. The whole level with a lot of dwarven. dwarven things that look like this. I like it when it's teal better than with bronze, I guess patinaed, but a cool looking mini. I like the menacing face on it and it's nice and dynamic, this kind of burst. It isn't attached. I don't know if it's supposed to be. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be. Eh, this, doesn't matter. You don't see a lot of, like, you see spell effects sometimes, but you don't often see, like, weapon damage kind of happening. And that makes it really cool. I like this. Oh, yeah. Whatever this is, is a pretty color. Whoa. <gasps> Hello. Here, let's, now that we're past the big one, let's come Please in. Please thank you. Oh. Look at those nails, by the way, everybody. Shout out Julie's nails. <laughs> that thumb is, thank you. Um, well, we've got... Look at all look at all these messages we've got. <gasps> oh. I want that tree for my blight. Excellent. Smart. Excellent, Smart. Kelly. Hello, Tim Fry. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Uh Kelly, that looks awesome. She likes the yeah, bigger robot. I like it too. And Michael, man, I'm always nervous about pulling miniatures out of those trays. Thank you. Yeah. Michael gets it. I like to you do a thumb pop. From the bottom, you pull the plastic mm -hmm. on the top and mm -hmm. then you pop, pop. I tried to do that from the bottom. You couldn't see from your angle. It looked like I was just ripping it like out, but yeah. I was doing that. I was pulling the lip off the bottom. Okay. <laughs> so there's this thing, and I don't know what's happening with it. Is our is our music is the sound okay? I don't think I ever saw a com confirmation on that. Do oh we, yeah. Do we sound does everything good? sound okay? We always have to move the mic. Yeah. Now I, that I've stopped hitting the mic. I went like six months without moving the mic, and then now now we're moving it all the time. You're welcome. It's not you. It's the setup. It's sure. Live live streams. Oh. Get out of here. Could you please mute your phones? It's actually, it's not It's not a watch. Whoever's phone. I hope that wasn't on screen. <laughs> okay. Spamo. This is a thing. It's cute. I can't quite pronounce it. What? Quaggoth. No. What is it? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, Quaggoth. Um, I don't know what it is. I love that his face is different from the rest of his body. He could do a better job matching his foundation, but then again, he doesn't have to. I think he, he looks beautiful. Um, it's almost like a Grinch head. Like, I can't quite tell if it's a lizard or a swamp creature. Um, and then his body is, I don't know. It's just beautiful, bright colors. Yeah. Do you know the lore on this? What is this? Uh, no, I believe it's a fiend. I don't know. Okay, cool. Uh, I do, I, the colors are fun. Yeah. He just looks like a bright frosting friend. Like and his child green, decorated. yeah, his weird little green head. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, is this... <gasps> You know what it is? A baby thing that you can ride in Stormwind. <laughs> Griffin, yeah. <laughs> Griffin Hatchling is what it's called, and it is Kelly's wee. a dude. I'm sorry, Kelly. Did I refer to you not as a dude? Not that I know, but I, I guess you did. If you, if you, if you 
Sorry, Allison. Kelly. You told us that before, and I absolutely knew that. Thank you for correcting us. Okay. Um, this is kind of cute. It looks just as kind of dopey as you expect a baby bird to look. It just doesn't look like its face is quite right. Oh, uh, fungus. Okay. Yeah, see, this is this is the unofficial Ram of the Frost made 2.0. Ah. There we, well, it's thank a beautiful you. fungus. Thank you, Decimation. Thank you. All right, last one from this box. How are you going to just skip over this play bow? I think this is awesome. Okay, yeah, it's that's a cute play bow. Like, imagine this hanging out with the Yeti tykes. No, they're cute, and I don't care for baby birds. Oh, okay. But I liked the play bow. You're sure. right about that. You're right about that. Oh, okay. that's one. That's the Ma Megan, Majin people. Deimos Mag. Mag. Yeah, I don't know. Anybody? So this person. Wasn't you this time? Oh. Dun <laughs> What's up, Dungeoneers Pack? <laughs> Thank you. Josh. And Wavy. Hi, Dungeoneers Pack. Okay, this is a cool looking mini. I love seeing something that has a different skin co skin tone to it. I don't know anything about these creatures. Obviously, I don't even know how to say their names. I'm just here for the cute stuff. Um, but a nice pose. He's not just swinging. He's not angry. He looks like he's ready to defend himself if needed, but not just going into a fight. Great color scheme. Nice detail. I think WizKids always does a good job at getting finer details painted. Um, you don't see that perfectly applied all the time, but I think this is really, really nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fan. And you could always repurpose this as like a Triton or even like an, a cool orc. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's box one. Box one. I think we should keep the minis over here. Oh, good call. I was trying to keep them kind of on screen without being in my way, but I like what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Next box, next box. This one's my turn. Hoping that it's got all the minis and they're not broken. I would love that. If we get that, I'm, I'm calling it a win. I'd like a bander hob. I'm going to do off screen reveal. <gasps> oh, unless you look at the little video. Then you can see. All right, this all right. This skin tone does look cool. I really like it. Yes! XP! I put it in the thumbnail because I was hoping we'd get one. That was the first box. Yes, Steven Zook. We just opened the first box of eight. So this is number two. This is number two. All right, all right, all right. So, I already broke my own rule. <laughs> sure did. Axe Beak, I love it. You can <gasps> ride them. Uh, had to leave for dinner. Already? <laughs> <laughs> and you're back again. Cool. Yeah, we, we talked a little bit, I guess. Uh, skin tone looks cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is an axe beak, which is a bird. It's a regular creature. It's just like a beast. You can turn into it if you're a druid. Uh, or you can ride them around here. Uh, and in fact, one time, Julie had a familiar on a, a uh, uh, temp Tempest, Tempest Cleric, mm -hmm. uh, Eldritch Knight, Orc, and her her familiar was flavored as, an, as a small axe beak. She was the best. Although familiar was flavored as an axe beak, what I was actually picturing the whole time was the flamingos from Alice in Wonderland who are dopey and giggle yeah. a lot, and you can like snap them straight yeah. to use them as croquet mallets. <laughs> Woo. Her name was Gail. DB loves him. Yes. Kelly, also a big fan. Yes. A masculine fan. And Gallant Goblin says, Woo. Woo! Thank you. I like how chunky this one is. The mini that Eric painted for me um, for Gail was not actually an X beak, I don't think. Correct. Um, and so I didn't realize they had such dump truck thighs. <laughs> can, I, can I wiggle in? So the this one, the small one, this is what we use as your familiar. Yes. And then here's a here's both of these are Reaper. And then this is a different X beak I painted to look kind of tropical. Yeah. But uh, we called it Gale, like a storm. Yeah, like Gale winds. Gale force winds from Bob's Burgers. So yeah, this one's considerably heftier, so I could understand how this could be a mount. This Whereas one had eggs, though. I like the eggs. Gale being quite live made her more like the flamingos in Alice in Wonderland. So this is great. Nice paint job. I like the gradation of colors here. I think it looks really good. <gasps> Theo and Grady in the house. <laughs> Kelly has a Reaper one. Yeah, do you have one of the two that Eric had painted? I know we're a little bit lagged in the chat. Uh, Elliot, welcome Elliot. Welcome Elliot. Welcome Elliot. All right, up next, we have Ravison. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but Wild Beyond what? the Witchlight Carnival gonna be serving up fried axe beak legs now. No. <laughs> Do 
You had to, like, <laughs> well, I don't care about this person anymore. <laughs> it's okay. This is a person from Rime of the Frost Maiden. I don't know anything about the character, lore wise. Yeah. But these cool, like, shadow, shadow daggers. Yeah. Yeah. Cool pose. The detail, the paint job on this one, I would not call great. I would agree with that. But I do like the cape. Yeah. All right. That was a quick hit. Yeah. All right. Up next. Up next. <gasps> oh, it's baby Ada. Chartalin pseudo, pseudo dragon. Uh, I had, And look, it's on like a little book or something. Sure is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally on a book. I had a uh, battlesmith artificer uh, uh, steel defender that was uh, dragon shaped named Ada. Artificial draconic automaton. <laughs> uh, and this would be perfect. I'm crying over it. Yes. Uh, speak a little. Yeah. No, this is fantastic. This, yeah. is, this is a good pseudo dragon. Some of the pseudo dragons have been not great. Like way too tiny, kind of mm. looking like an imp or something. Yeah. This one, this one's excellent. Yeah. Excellent. That one's going to be a good score. Good size. Nice shine to it. I like it. All right. How do we want to pronounce this? What do we want to decide? Megan? Let's say Megan. I'm up for a good bird fry. <laughs> Wow. Let's go, let's go with Megan. What do you think? That sound. Can we call her Megan? No. <laughs> Fine. Well, uh, okay, so this is a person, one of those spell people created oh. by spells. But this is like the mage version. That's Gal Galvanic. Beautiful. Galvanic. If anybody wants numbers of which these are, let me know and we'll flip them over and we'll talk about the numbers. Like, like uh, this is uh, three out of 46. Just let me know and we'll, we'll take a look. I love this. Yeah, I think it's cool. You can... I haven't seen anything like it. It doesn't look extraterrestrial exactly, but it's it's just a beautiful color scheme. This feels like a Superman type character. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That was box number two. You ready for box number three? I am. All right, Julie's turn. My turn to watch the chat. While Julie opens that, everybody, what mini are you most excited to get out of this set? What, what, what are your fingers crossed to hope to see? Oh man, you know BB Shock. Oh, well, BB Shockwave can get here and ask for him. <laughs> there you go. That's what I do. All right. The large or larger is a polar bear who looks like he's having a really rough day. <laughs> he's just, he looks sad. This is just called polar bear. Nothing, well, nothing more like, to it. Coming up, we're about to pounce down on the seal or, or the bard. I understand. Oh. It's just not the most flattering bear. You're most excited to see the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> You're up. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, okay. keep, we'll keep the, the VOD up. Fun. Yeah, this is fine. Good for texture. It, this kind of yeah, that yeah. doesn't look great, but I feel like some some minis. So like some minis are like, all right, here's where we're spending our money on oh, plastic. Yeah, and then some minis are like, let's make up that cost. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. It's fine. Oh, DV, have fun with your <gasps> dinner. I hope it's delicious. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for yeah. Thanks for stopping by. <gasps> Another one of these. Uh oh, our first dupe. Our first duplicate. Yeah. No Coke can. That's why he's sad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ba 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 ba. No BBs. They're always the two cubs. Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> that. Rah. Yeah, that's who he's about to pounce on. He has a little separation right. in the arm, yeah. Yeah. Might need rotator cuff surgery. Next up. Whatever this is, it's quite teeny. Oh. Oh. oh, is that a method of some sort? It is ice method. Yeah, that's cool. So you can see it better. I love that. That's a good transparency wow. effect. And yeah. The, the wash looks like it has a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit of a metallic in it. Yeah, it's 
looks like something that in a wintry landscape you wouldn't be able to see quite clearly. You'd just see a telltale shimmer like Predator, but a little bit, <laughs> a little bit gray to it. And this exaggerated nose and chin looks really, really good. Yeah, an an this another is awesome. one that there have been methods before mm -hmm. that I would not call nearly as good. This, yeah. is, this is great. And just the posturing of it is creepy and gross and kind of mosquito-like, really great. I'm very impressed by that one. I don't want to encounter one, but it's a cool mini. Uh-oh. Okay, and then a this gargoyle. The beefer. Not the best paint job. Looks like it kind of just got a sad wash. Would like to get that. Yeah, yeah. I assume you mean the method. The yeah. ice method, because this is. Yeah, the gargoyle is pretty basic. The yeah. I like. I do like the pose. The pose is good. I would give. I would give five points for the. Pose. I like that the. Mini is kind of chunky. It's a different body shape than we usually see. But this, this makes me think boring. of uh, what's the movie with Esmeralda? Uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. All right, that's fine. <laughs> the Ice Method was the best one from that box. Agreed, for sure. agreed. All right, all right. So that was box three? Yes. This is box number four. Box number four. And of course, in our actual video or actual review that'll go up on Sunday, all the numbers will be there too. There you have it. All right. Yes. I saw something blue and it looked I fun. I saw it. I got the sneak peek before everybody else did. <laughs> wow. Ready? Ready? Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, I don't like it. It's like it's a blue, oh, blue grimace. Okay, what do you I mean do you don't like, like it. it. It um from the top down view, which is what I was looking at, which is what everybody else could see. I thought it was a look at that face. What's that brain thing? A mind mind flare. Thank you. Oh. Just what? You look look at the top down. Okay, yeah, I like this thing. He's got a piece of plastic hair. Let's just get rid of that. Yes, he looks like Grimace or Gritty or another weirdly shaped creature. That's weird. I've never had a hair glued into a mini. Let's not think about it. There it is. Thank you. Yep. All right. There's our focus. It's just like a mouth. Yeah. And it's got some shimmer. And the you, I, mean, you, I think you can see it in camera. These are different color, mm -hmm. like blues. So that's good. Mm -hmm. It's not just like he made a, something of himself. The male's here. I guess the male's here. <gasps> I know it's here. That's a package from one of our Discord <gasps> friends. How fun! Yeah. Uh, it should be okay. Uh, cool. No, this is great. I think it's a lot of fun. It's definitely not something I already have. Yeah. Interesting shape. Pretty good paint job. Yeah, the hair in it is weirding me out. You're gonna like this next one. Okay. You ready? Locatha. <laughs> ah, it's perfect. It's perfect in every way. Look at that big chunky throat. Yeah, no, it's great. Oh, I didn't expect to see fishy cute things. No, I didn't know Locatha was. This, this is the set I've probably been like most disconnected from mm. in a while. I just I do not know everything that's in this one. Oh, excellent. I love it. Yeah, very good. That's mine. Ah. All right. So this one, if anybody's played Baldur's or Dungeons Gallon Goblin, yes, this is my favorite. The Lokatha. Yeah. Agree. If anybody's played uh, Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance, you will be familiar with this creature, but it'll look very different. It's very gross in the game. So this big old Burbeeg is like a... Uh, giant it's not it's not in the ordning so it's not like an official giant but it's mm. like uh they in, in dark alliance there are those big fat things that are like super tall mm. and, blah, blah, and they okay. throw the spear and they hook you back yeah uh i like this kind a lot more yeah well you could easily and i mean it's a medium so you could easily use this as a uh, goliath or even a furball that's what i was thinking with the purpley skin i got goliath vibes yeah no i think it's cool he's carrying his whole keg <laughs> when you're that big that's what you can do yeah oh that's a good one yeah all right and our last one for this set Ooh, a different one of those magic people <laughs> hypnos 
What were we at? Hypnos Megan. Oh, wow. I thought no. No. Oh, Julie. Oh, GG. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I still good game. Good game. <laughs> but totally context clues. Yep. Uh, Verbig are large, not medium. Yeah. The Fox Lord. What size is this? This is medium. So maybe they're supposed to be large, but that's yeah. a medium mini. Has anyone looked in the D&D miniatures gallery? Two new stars. Oh. Uh, I know, I know mini, minisgallery.com. Is that what you mean? Two new starter sets. Valor's call. Oh, yeah, those, those are the, um, yes, there, there are new starter sets for Witchlight, right? And I think there are new starter sets. I don't know. I need somebody to look, tell, tell me what's in those ones. I don't recognize those names. Valor's call. All right, all right, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna take a quick, quick detour. We're gonna take a quick detour. For big is supposed to be medium. What? Thrifty Steve commented. Oh, Thrifty Steve, fighting fighting the battle. Thank you. D and D mini. You do that. I'm gonna grab our package from outside. Thank you. Thank you. Valor's rest. All right. Ugh, got too many boxes, y'all. Here. In the meantime, here's some big Eric face. How about that? Minisgallery.com. On there. Valor, Valor Rest. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Does Terry have it up on the front? Realm. I don't know. I need some info, y'all. Help me out. Premium set? No? All right. Well, I guess we're going to move on. Oh, the, 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 that's what the name of the... Okay. So those are the names of the witch light sets. Thank you. I am excellent at turning nothing into something. And I think Julie is still getting that package. So... I'm going to go double twice in a row. No! Oh, she's back. She's back. Okay. Uh, let's switch back. All right. Wonderful. Why, why is which lay Valor's call? What does that even mean? Oh, I don't think I'm going to like what's in this one. Oh, well, you're going to like part of it. <gasps> you want to do that one first? Yes, I do, because it's beautiful colors are calling to me. Yes! I'm trying not to yell, but I can't not Thank yell. You. <laughs> yes! I love my Knids, and let me tell you why. One of my earliest DMs, um, who we still play with and who's amazing, <laughs> has the most incredible voice for my Knids. I cannot do it justice. I won't even try, but the voice alone made me love my Knids. And... I like mushrooms. I eat them. They're delicious, which is different from eating an axe beak because those are pets. It doesn't matter. I think this is incredible. I love seeing... Do they live in the Underdark? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love seeing Underdark Mainly. bright, colorful creatures, not just gross, dark, kind of bummer stuff. I get really tired of seeing like vampires and black and red and to see something this colorful and bizarre and strange, but still meaningful i i just think it's wonderful it's not needlessly a rainbow threw up on it it's just great and i love it and i'm super excited about it yeah. eric's gonna find his mic and it's yeah i don't know where they're at. i might have hoarded all of them <laughs> uh so the stat block okay let, let me... speaking of black and red all right you finish that and then i've got it oh no do what you need to i just oh, you, you open it <laughs> all right this is a Cambian. I have fought those before. And by the way, this is Myconid Adult, is what this one says. Okay, so Cambian. Yeah, there's a place for these. I just get tired of seeing the same color schemes over and over, and it's nice when you can get something like this. This is fine. Yep. Great. Good 
good paint job. Nice detail. It's a lot better than the other Cambion. There was a Descent into Avernus, I think, Cambion mm. that just seemed like every other mini you opened in that brick was a Cambion because there were two poses. Yeah. Uh, I like this one. More. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Uh, okay. First, uh, these I'll look at all these awesome responses. Oh. Uh, Verbeeg are large according to their D&D stat block. That makes sense to me. Mm. The mini is medium, like physically medium, although it's a very tall medium. Uh, okay. Uh, Valor's Call are the old school guys from the cartoon, oh. and I figure Zarak is probably one of those good guys, bad guys. Mm. Um, that old school cartoon. I, I never watched it. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I know. We should. Mm. Is it on any platforms? A nice mini. Love that one. League of Malevolence are the old school bad guys, like Warduke. Now, oh. Warduke, I do know. He's got like blue, like uh, scale mail on it. What? Blue scale mail, and then he's like wearing a bikini, like a like a speedo. Bikini. Sure. And a helmet with wings. Is he wearing a bikini or a speedo? A speedo. Okay. I'm corrected. Uh, <laughs> she's beautiful. Know. Okay, so you've got this one, right? Yes. So this is cool. Yeah. But this is a this is okay. a reaper, Mike and I, that I painted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a place for that. This is yeah. very 70s style yeah. mushroom decor that my mom had in her basement. <laughs> and I'm fine with it. Look at his butt. I know, he's got little buns. Where's this butt? There's no butt. Hey, Game Masters, thanks for hanging out. Game Masters. We got a delivery. We did. I just went to go get it. Uh, Cool. Okay, Mike and it, sorry. I took over your, do you wanna, you wanna do your last one? You yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. I forgot one. I forgot okay. one. Sorry. Here's another small one. <gasps> I mean. What is that? It is that is a mushroom dog? Mike and Ed Sprout. <gasps> is, it, is it a baby Mike and Ed? Or is it a Mike and Ed dog? I feel like the way that its back is makes me think that it's some sort of animal. Like dog type creature. But I don't yeah. know. Kelly has, has the box, box set. set. Wow. Okay. This is phenomenal. Yeah. And even a different color scheme, but I'm not mad at it. This is jewel tones. This is kind of primary colors. Tasha's custom lineages, so you can be whatever race you want. Yeah. Make a mic in it. Sure. Like a Beastmaster Ranger. That's your that's your pet. Someone we played with wanted to be a mic in it, but that wasn't a possibility. So That's true. Musher pupper. That's adorable. <laughs> Musher pupper. That's exactly what's happening. Okay, this delights me. This has now become my favorite mini and I like them as a set. Okay. Um and this I'm trying to cover is large and I don't like it. Huge. This is huge the biggest one in the box and I don't like it. Turn it sideways. Ah. Um it's fine. I feel like we have twenty five things that look like this. Goofy Pluto situation. Oh yeah. Pluto <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um we have a lot of stuff that looks like this. I'm kind of tired of seeing this body type, seeing it villainized. I get that a lot of big things look like this in the lore, but I don't need to see another mini of it. We've got like 500 of them and whether they're blue or green or purple doesn't really matter to me. So having one that's kind of skin toned and wearing sandals. Yeah, if he had one eye, he could be a Cyclops. Sure. There's no difference. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, my turn, my turn. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Look at that. Oh, oh no, no. Yeah, that's no bueno. No. Okay. Let's hope there's no damage. Let's let's hope. I wish there was another um, snowy owl bear, another um, fairy mana snow. Oh yeah. Shout out Ga Galen Goblin, fairy mana snow. <laughs> I absolutely adopted that, by the way. Yeah, because it was brilliant. All right, here we go. Ready? Ooh. Now this, I know what this is. Ooh. Pop them out. Sorry about that noise. Uh, this, Ice Troll. Oh, I thought it was a wolf of some kind. Oh, no. No, I see it now. Before I could see the mouth, I thought it was a wolf. I... Very made us know. Wait, did, what is that? Did I say it wrong? No, I think that's what you said. Oh, okay. Just... Yes. Gotcha. Confirmation. Gotcha. Yes. Um... I, I remember when this was uh, published, or when the first like renders of this came out, uh, people were in a pretty big uproar. Oh. Because that's not what a troll looks like. That This looks like a Pathfinder troll. 
Oh. Blah, 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 blah. But guess what's printed in the book? A picture that looks exactly like this. <laughs> so that might have been the past, but Moving things change. <laughs> I think this is a really good sculpt, though. Yeah. Uh, I, do, I, will, I do wish there was a little bit more variation in these colors. I think it looks better on camera. Kelly wants to fight, to fight it. it. I were don't. Troll, were troll. Ooh. It does look like a were troll. Yeah. Especially because it looks very blue on camera. It's very, it's gray here. There's yeah. like no blue here. It looks better on camera than it does in person. It does. I don't think it looks bad in person. I agree. It just doesn't look. But yeah, it's it's gray. I don't know why it's appearing so blue. Well, just the background, I guess. Yeah, I the think... background is black. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. But I think that helps. It's it's yeah. true gray. It's but beautiful. It's cool. The pose is, is fine. Yeah. I'd give the pose like a three out of five. I think it's completely kind of fine. Bigfoot arms. I yeah. like that. Could have done a lot worse. Could have done a lot better. Sure. But I like it. Yeah, I like it. For as many trolls as you have, not I don't think any of them look like this in shape, posture, texture, color. Completely agree. Ooh, Fox Lord. Also, I didn't notice earlier, but snow golems are medium. So maybe oh. they switched those up. Oh. Yeah. I'd buy that. I'm Team Fox Lord. I, I I subscribe to that theory. Sure. Okay, so this one, this one that I like, Cold Light Walker. Ooh. So this is from Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Somebody help me out with the lore. This is, I'm this is not my book. I'm not I'm not super pro on that book. Uh, but it's like an undead thing, and in the book, in the picture, it's like a glowy, like a whitish, bluish, like light coming out of the face. Mm. It looks very cool. Uh, you could, of course, use this for what it's actually supposed to be for, but um, just any kind of snow, like your character, you yeah. have your regular character, and then, oh, we're in a, put on your winter clothes. Your winter gear. Your winter yeah. gear. There you go. Cold weather gear. That hand's a little, <laughs> a little. Yes, Game Masters, I just went to pick it up, like, seconds before you got here. Yeah. That's what we meant. Uh, but I do, I, I think they did a good job with the cloak. Mm-hmm. This is another one that I, I think my camera is making it look a little bit better than it actually is. Yeah, there's not a ton of dimension to it in person. Yeah. Uh, it's a cool looking one. I'm kind of sad they didn't include the light beams. Yeah. I'm not sure how they would have done it, even, but at least just paint the face like that whitish, whitish blue. Yeah. I think it would have been nice. I was surprised to hear you say that part of the lore. I figured it was just a person walking in the snow. Like. You want to grab the book real quick? Sure. Rhyme of the Frost. Oh, Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost. Sorry. What's it called? Cold Light Walker. You can keep all right. All right, all right. So while Julie looks that up, I know it's, yeah. There no index. Yeah. Uh, this one is a psychic gray ooze. And this one looks better in person than it does on camera. Yeah. Uh, we've got some like, Real shading dimensionality here. I think it looks cool. This this is like a connector piece. They're humanoids that thank you, Michael. By the way, uh, they're humanoids that died due to extreme cold, but their spirits are still stuck on the mortal plane. Oh, there you go. Here we go. Yeah. So in the book, tilt it. It's got light beam. Oh, that look his hand. His hand matches. <laughs> mm, <laughs> <With> the... <laughs> But the light, That's yeah. Clever. Yeah, and even out of his pants, so he's like a walking light. Humanoids who died from extreme cold, but whose spirits languish in the mortal world. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> you just read it, too. Yeah. You, you said thanks, Michael, but it hadn't appeared on my screen yet, so I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> oh, I, I repeated it. Oh. <laughs> I read it out. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'll come back. <laughs> Look, I've still, got, I've still got that, uh, what was that? The, the hair from the, from the guy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it looks way cooler in the picture. Yeah. I'm that always happy to see more oozes. Yeah. No, this is a good one. And I like that it goes a little bit past its base. I think that's fun. Because yeah. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that, but I think this one does a good job. But because they didn't include the light beam, you can just use it as a bundle up. Exactly. exactly. Yes. More multi-purpose, but less special. Kind of a trade-off. Okay. Now, this one I don't think you're going to love as much as the Lokava. Okay. Okay. But I think you might still like it. <gasps> 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 the 
I've got a severely bent spear. That's okay. Fix him with the hot heat gun. Oh, hell. Oh, he's got a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely supposed to be there. Yeah. Look at his little skirt. This is, this is a bullywog. Is it a bullywog anything? No, it's just a bullywog. This is this is good. This is a lot better than. I love having all these things right here, by the way. I know. Yeah, so that's not supposed to be there, but I think that's just a tattoo tattoo of his home island. That's what I want it to be. And I love everything about this. I love his fat neck. There's that reaction gif of a lizard that's like, eh, 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 and that's what he looks like. Yeah, here's an older bullywog. Oh. Yeah, this but, is way cooler. But I'm going to tell you, though, my absolute favorite Bullywog-ish uh, mini mm -hmm. is a Pathfinder. I agree. <laughs> Look at those berserk eyes. Ah! Yeah, that's exactly the noise he's making. That, that's a uh, leaping boggard. Yeah. No, this is, this is the best frog mini of it all is. time. <laughs> he's a little turtle-shaped, but it is. But no, I love this. Look how fat he is. It's wonderful. Blah. Yeah, actually, I hope I get one with a tattoo. I hope so too, Thrifty Steve. All the Pathfinder frog boggers, I think, are pretty cool. There's a lot more to them, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This one's wearing like a tunic that everybody else is. So, <laughs> yeah. This is really cute. Really, really cute. Yeah, his eyes aren't painted all the best, <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care. I love him. All right, okay, uh, this is your last box. All right. Everybody, please, moment of silence, wish Julie good luck with her last box. I'm willing it to be nothing but Commander Hobbs. Uh, Knowles, you wanted the Knoll thing. That was sure. Your, that was your top pick. All right, that sounds like me. <laughs> that thing right there. Oh yeah, I do want one of those. Kelly's got the Pathfinder ones. <laughs> <laughs> you got the poop. This is poop with a mustache made out of other poop. Oh, what's it called? It's called a spitting mimic. Yeah. So it looks like. I do want to pull the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. It looks like a rock structure, but that's got uh -huh. a mimic mouth on it with tentacles. It looks like a roper, but it's not a roper. Roper's that rock thing. One of the very oh, first yeah, minis yeah. I ever got. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, similar shape. Yeah. Um, I hate this. I think the dry brushing is pretty good. Yeah. A lot of times uh, the dry brushing can be a little... Spotty. Yeah. But yeah. And this isn't smooth at all, which is nice. A lot of the, even if it's supposed to look, they try to make it look rough with textured paint instead of actually giving it texture. And this, whatever reason, this actually has a good, it feels like an actual rock. Yeah. I think that's kind of cool. I hate this. <laughs> made hey, my beard into a mini. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. You're gonna love your last one. Okay. <laughs> Dwergar Hammerer. Hammerer. Oh. Um, another one that's not actually blue, it's just shifting blue kind of on the camera, but it's a gunmetal kind of dark yeah. steel color. It looks awesome. I've never seen this before. I understand what it is. I mean, it looks like a clamp you can grab somebody I with, so, but yeah. I've never seen that type of weapon before. It might actually be their arm. Oh, it is. That's their arm. So it's not like a handheld claw thing. That's like they have a mechanical arm. That's super cool. Oh, check um, this out. And this is their mechanical hammer. These are both their limbs. This is an old, I'm not sure. This is 2006. Oh, wow. That's the uh, same thing. Quite a difference. Are Dwergar people or robots? People. Okay. So it's, it's like an Iron Man suit. Okay. Well, his two mechanical limbs, I wasn't sure. And yeah. Because he's entirely silver. It's a, it's like a under dark floor. Got it. I thought so, but I just, okay. Which one do you like more? Um, I think this one has more spookiness to it. I know I don't like things that just look like everything looks like he had an accident. <laughs> I don't like things that just look like people all the time, but I've seen a lot of robots that look, have that kind of rounded retro futuristic vibe to it. And I haven't seen a lot of minis that are people with robotic limbs. I think that's yeah. cool. Be an artificer? Sure. 
All right, so this is not your last one. Your next one's your last one. All right. Sure. You, you got a dude. Yeah, it's a, a Chartland Berserker. Yeah. How I'm going to say it. Um, Yeah, this is cool. Deep dwarves, yeah. I feel like I don't see many things with... This is a flail? Yep. Yep, I don't see many um, minis with flails, so I like that. The cloth doesn't have much texture to it, but a nice... I love a man in leggings. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Yeah, you looks always good. you always need more like barbarian yeah. berserkers to fight. Absolutely. Yeah, looks good. It's now, a good workhorse of a mini. This last one, do you want me to take it out of the bag so you can just see it? No. Okay. That's part of my fun. All right. Everybody, I'm going to cover the mic a little bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's singing. <laughs> Oh, he's singing! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, he's the best! Uh, he, that, the barbarian stole the flail from the knoll, yeah. Fully wood croaker! Oh my god, look, he's serenading you! He just wants you to hear his beautiful song! Jason Momoa. <laughs> Oh my god, this is everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> oh no. Congratulations. Thank you. It's really <laughs> precious. He's singing that pose. He's so sincere. He could be serenading someone he loves. He could be performing in the town square. He's even got one foot kind of lifted off the ground, so you know he means it. He's giving you bardic inspiration. He's giving you bardic inspiration. He could be in, like... Maybe they're putting on a play. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's like the bard. And they're putting on a play. And <laughs> this is everything that I've ever wanted and more. <laughs> Need him for my tavern. Yeah. You can't have him. He's mine. All right. So we've got one box you left. You can. I hope you get one, too. I hope. I wish every. I think the world would be a better place if everybody had one of these. Just sitting sitting on their desk. Sitting okay. In their pocket. This, is, this is our last box. That was a good, good box. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, is that why the no in the set is unarmed? Yeah, that's funny. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is our last one. So this is number eight of eight. Um, so I see we've got 25 viewers, which is ah! amazing. Thank you. But I see we've got 11 likes. Thank you. If we could get a couple more likes, like maybe to hit 15, that would be awesome. I'd love that. That would be super cool if we could so do that. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, and of course, because I know as soon as we open this last one, everybody's going to bounce out. <laughs> Uh, check us out uh, patreon.com slash fry minis uh, we've got a discord server uh, come hang out with us we do Friday night painting every night we do live painting on our, on our... every week we do live painting you right. said every night we do live painting I thought I said every Friday night but, okay every week every week <laughs> every week uh, we do a, every Friday night we do a painting probably Fox Lord <laughs> uh, check us out I've got links in the description for everything and if you haven't already like and subscribe please Okay, so this one, tell me if this one, I think this is actually the heaviest one. It is quite, it's hefty. I haven't picked up all the boxes you've been handing them to me, so. Oh, okay. Now I know that tree, I know Kelly wants that tree. I'm gonna be honest, tree's not my top pick. <laughs> like, yeah, of course I want one, but that's not my top pick. We have a couple of Ents already that are pretty I cool. think there's a dragon. I think there's like a white dragon. Oh. I would love to get this battle wagon thing. Whatever. Well, it's just it's a cool thing. Like sure. I, ne I never got the um, Tomb of Annihilation. There was like a, a green marble truck. Like mm -hmm. a, like it would roll stuff over kind of mm -hmm. thing. I never got that one. All right. Womp womp. You're going to see it at the same time as me. Go! Oh! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right. That tree sells like hotcakes. I bet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll we'll do we'll do the, the this first. Since it's in high demand, just not high demand from Eric. No, we're gonna save that for the end. What am I saying? I don't know. All right, all right. So this is a uh, little one. Oh, is this another method? Yes. <gasps> Ooh, look, he's got uh, some toots. Good. Uh, dust method. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's just sitting. Yeah, this is this is a uh, that clear plastic. Mm -hmm. That's a great rare. Yeah, I'm super excited to get this. Yeah. One. Good, nice. good, good, good. All right. Meth methods are cool, but yeah. it's a method. He does look like he's sitting in a pool of his own farts. <laughs> yeah. 
Battle wagon. Here, we'll, we'll do it. We'll get to that battle wagon. Let's see. Oh, good. And we've got the skeleton. This is the best box. <laughs> no. Oh, we've got a little sprue thing. You never oh. seen it? Yeah, I've never yeah. seen one of those out here. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Sen skeletal sentinel. That is but a cool myth. This is an anchor. So oh. this is supposed to be, in the book, this is like clearly a frost giant skeleton. Mm. So huge. Yeah. Uh, and it's okay. I just probably wouldn't have kept it as an anchor. Yeah. <laughs> Probably can't wield an anchor. If now, you're... if this is like a bass boat anchor, mm. maybe, maybe. Of course, a bass boat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then my last. He's also a little. Yeah, easy fix with the heat gun. For sure. But I'm going to keep him like that for when we do the actual video, when we oh, do the sure. review video. Because yeah, yeah, so... yeah. otherwise, if we're only showing the perfect best ones. Best of the yeah. best. Yeah. Yeah. Easy fix, though. Uh, right. Stole that idea from Gallant Goblin, by the way. They've got like three minis, one terrible, one great, and one in the middle. They show the middle one. Oh, yeah. In their video. Yeah. You've mentioned that before. That's super smart. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's the best way to handle it. Thanks for doing this live. It's very fun and exciting. <gasps> Thank you, James. This is our first Wiz Kids live unboxing. Sure. And I i can't wait to get more minis to do this again. I know. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> look, 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 look. If we want it. We got but... the white dragon wormling. Uh, <laughs> white Cute. dragon wormling. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great. The, I really like the color on this. It's got kind of like a dirt look to it. Uh, and I like the idea that maybe as it gets older, it turns white. Mm. And then if it gets really old and turns into Arviatris, it turns gray. <laughs> Indestructible. Yeah, dude, link in my description. Amazon right now, we ordered these the other day. They showed up here. Kind of surprised. I think maybe Amazon let them out a little early. I was, and I tested it, I only ordered one brick. I would have ordered more bricks, but I will say they're full price, 160. Mm. Miniature market where I normally get my minis, I think they're like 120. Mm. But if you use the link in the description, we'll make 60 cents. <laughs> uh, this is a great little wormling. I, the, I think the paint job is fantastic. Yeah, I like what you're saying about like it changing color as it grows up and the way that actual animals do. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool thought. Yeah. And it's nice to see something they could have taken the easy way out and just done white, but then yep. it's got some paint on it and some good dimension. I agree. Yeah. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, I like. I think this paint job is superior to Arbiatris's paint job. Yes. Yeah. Even the even the fixed version. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my videos. Arbiatris conspiracy. Not actually a conspiracy. No. Uh, excellent. Just okay. A joke about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's a mini. Oh, uh, I know. Okay. So this, there are two parts to this battle wagon. I'm gonna zoom out. Uh, did you guys pull the polar bear draw? Yeah, that was lit that's that was this is the this was the big one in this last box. This is eight of eight. You are at the moment. We're looking at this now, first time. Yeah. Incredibly time. lucky. Super excited to get this. So they've got spikes on the wheels. Here. They did. It's next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely got room to put people on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You could load that up with. Is it dwarves or goblins? Gob or goblins. Okay. No. Uh, I am a little sad we didn't get the cobalt in the trench coat. Mm, yeah. We'll have to get a second brick. Not from Amazon though. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh wow, this is a. Oh. Yikes. That's okay. Elaborate. This might. Ugh. This I don't know. Ugh. Okay, let's figure this out. Twisted in an unpleasant way. No. Okay, so oh, they go this. <laughs> this That's might this struggle. This might be a heat gun situation. Okay, so let's <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna plug them in. Oh yeah, so right there I see in the middle. So there's a hole. Mm -hmm. Oh, three holes. So this thing goes in right in the middle. We'll pop that in first. This is a weird craft project. This is a weird craft. Is that upside down? No, this. Yeah, there's a little nub in there. This is the most elaborate pre-painted mini of Yeah, I've never seen an assembly that required like this. I don't... I don't know about that one. Well, we can do the rest of it. Pop that in. All those parts and yet no Coke can hanging off a stick to dangle in front of the polar bears. Oh my gosh! What a missed opportunity! Yeah. All right. What a missed They're opportunity. Just... <laughs> That'd be so cute. So this is definitely going to need the heat gun to fix it. Like this, this is there's there's no way. 
So this is an incredibly cool mini. Yeah. But this absolute here, let me, let me. Yeah, it's kind of wadded up into a ball like a headphone cord that here. just gets. Yeah, and so and these are these these are still plastic, so this mm -hmm. isn't like rope or something. This is still the same as if it was like a sword. And then the Texas heat it just fused, it melted itself uh, into a ball. I don't think Texas. I don't. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, if it was wadded up in the box and shipped someplace cold, it might not have kind of solidified in that way. Uh, That's what I mean. But here, take a. I want to show you. Look at this up close. And we're coming apart there. Oh no. On both of them. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till I can soften this before I try to mess with it anymore. Yeah, fair enough. So very cool mini. You just need to get some time to fix it. I don't know even what I'm gonna do with the review <laughs> for that one. Yeah, you might just set it <laughs> in a ball. The red draculich requires some assembly. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just popping wings on, right? You're just gonna go in circles. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so those are cool. So what was your favorite all together? <laughs> I forgot we weren't overhead yeah. anymore. Obviously. Croker. Obviously. Uh, Duh. Although. Although what? I did think that these were very cool. Meg Megan? Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen something quite like that. And obviously I loved the Mike and It's. Oh, look, I told you. We, we were at 25. We opened the last box 19. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, everybody. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that axe beak. I love that axe beak. Yeah, it is. It is good. Our big giant. Uh, I, I, know, I right? forgot we're up there too. <laughs> Our big giant uh, Titan Warforged Titan is yeah, really that one cool. Was awesome. Uh, and this polar bear thing will be really cool once it's working. The sure. Goblin Battle Wagon. Awesome. Have a great night. Thanks, Tim Fry. Thanks, Tim. Okay, so everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for Sunday's video. We're, we'll have the actual review. And we'll do the spin arounds. Uh, and obviously we don't have a complete set. It was just one brick, but we'll, we'll do what we can there. Uh, maybe I'll try to see if we can get another brick in the meantime, but I doubt it. It's, we need it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. What? Thank you. I need to snag the set. If nothing else to have a Goblin Siege Tower. Thanks for the stream, man. Thank you, Indestructible Boy. Thank you. Shout out Indestructible Boy's channel. Indestructible Boy. YouTube.com slash Indestructible Boy, I assume. Love all the ministries. Thank Everybody, you. Everybody, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for yeah. watching, hanging out with us. Join us on Discord, please. We want to talk to you. Yeah. All right. I'll give you a Banderhob icon. Yeah, we'll give you a Banderhob icon. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Bye.